Good morning. Just real quick, this uh, training video is simply going to be on trailers, truck trailers, uh, the different types, not all the types, but the, the primary ones that um, we will be dealing with or have access to. Uh, just real quick. So I uh, just wanted to go over trailer uh, trailer types. I know a lot of you guys are already in the industry. You, you know the different uh, trailer types, but I don't want to take for granted that we all are on the same page or that we all have the same industry knowledge when it comes to trailer types. So um, I just want to talk about trailers real quick and I'll, I'll get off your off your computers. So uh, the uh, primary trailer type that uh, we work with on a uh, daily basis is the dry van and the shippers that you've been given to in your module primarily are dry van shippers. So what I mean by that is, is that they prefer to have their freight carried inside or have their freight transported inside of a dry van, which means that it is a big old box like this right here, about 53, you can tell here it's 53 feet long and um, their goods are protected from the elements when it comes to rain, sleet, snow, too much sun, whatever the case may be. But a dry van is pretty much just a van, a big box. It's 53 feet long. This one is 53 feet long. And we can tell how long it is by the uh, indication right here on the actual van. And typically you'll find uh, in standard practices, you'll find how long the dry van is by uh, looking, uh, there, there should be a marking on the van. Very similar to a dry van is a reefer. A uh, reefer is just short for refrigerated truck or refrigerated dry van. So again, we have the dry van here and we have a refrigeration unit that provides uh, air conditioning to and cooling to the products on the um, on, on, on board. Um, it could be, you know, live seafood that needs to have a certain temperature. It could be uh, fruits and vegetables. It could be uh, different beverages. But at the end of the day, uh, a temperature must be maintained when um, when freight is being transported on a uh, on a reefer truck or on a reefer, reefer van. So this is what a reefer looks like. This is the actual drive in and then there's a refrigeration unit. Again, here is the drive in, no refrigeration unit. Here is the reefer with a refrigeration unit. Another type of truck is the flatbed. The flatbed is just open. There is no van that covers the uh, freight that's on board. For instance, here we're looking at um, wood pallets. They also have concrete blocks coming off of this uh, this manufacturing facility or distribution center, whatever it may be. And it can all be loaded here on a flatbed. Now, in this particular case, there is a covering that can be pulled from the back end of the flatbed all the way across the top, which then would act as a uh, dry van. Uh, of course, it won't be the hard shell covering as the flatbed, but it would be able to protect, protect the freight on board on this particular flatbed as if it was a dry van. So again, here is a flatbed and this is what the dry van looks like. And they're going to pull from the back this covering right here to give it the same effect. You're not gonna find this on all flatbeds, um, but in this particular case, special unit, this guy has uh, the ability to do so. Uh, a lot of cases you will see lumber carried on flatbeds, you'll see uh, construction uh, product carried on flatbeds, brick and concrete blocks and things of that nature. Um, the next unit we're gonna talk about is the step deck the difference between the step deck and the flatbed visibly is the step deck has a flatbed then it steps up and has a shorter unit and that's called a step deck again it's just like a flatbed it comes um, long unit and then it steps up and then it turns into it has a, a step up unit short deck and it, that's pretty much why they call it a step deck 
typically with step decks. Like for instance, here we see that these guys are carrying military equipment, military vehicles. Typically with step decks, you will find that um, heavy haul equipment such as military equipment, big trucks and big tanks, uh, tractors and trailers are carried on step decks. I can't really give you the philosophy on why they use step deck for that type of equipment, but that's what they do. Um, you can carry uh, items of freight that you would normally carry on a flatbed on a step deck, but I have not seen um, heavy haul carried on a flatbed. Not to say that it can't be, I just never seen uh, heavy haul carried on a step deck. I mean, on a flatbed. Now, with that said, uh, just to go off topic just a little bit, if you do run into a shipper that's asking if you can carry heavy haul, heavy haul is money to another level, right? So if you can get into the to the heavy haul uh, niche, uh, it's a game changer. <laughs> Needless to say, uh, nothing else needs to be said. It is a game changer. I will leave that at that, and we will talk about heavy haul in a video all by itself. Uh, the next type of trailer we will talk about is the auto carrier. We've we've spoken about auto auto carriers here in the uh, in the recent past uh, in meetings, but this is what an auto carrier looks like. Many of them do not have this many units that can be carried here. We are looking at two, four, seven, nine units carried here. They have six unit carriers. They have three unit carriers. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, getting to the auto, car, the auto, the car hauling niche is is a great market to be in. Just to give you some idea, the revenue on this car is probably about seven hundred and fifty dollars per car. You do the math. Um, it's a good business to be in it's a tough business to get in. it's not tough but it's it's a um, a tricky business to get into because car hauling has its own load board um, the standard load boards that we use uh, these drivers are not on there so what we're going to do is we're going to create our own load board that's going to take a team effort when you go out and you see uh, car haulers going down the highway uh, what we need you to do is grab the phone numbers off the side of the truck, grab the names off the side of the truck, grab the MC numbers, the DOT numbers off the side of the truck mm -hmm. and send them over to us. Um, and we're going to build a database of car haulers. We're going to build our own load board. We're going to build that load board and we're going to have it on our website so that um, we can really become a viable competitor in the car hauling uh, industry, in the car hauling market. Again, it's going to take a team effort. Uh, we're, we've got agents all over the country. We need to have uh, units, car hauling units from all over the country. Um, so again, we need you to go out there and if you see, when you see car haulers, grab their phone numbers, grab their names, off, grab their MC numbers and their DOT numbers. All that information is on the side of the truck. Send it over to us and let us uh, contact those guys, build a database, and we can really get out there and start marketing car hauling uh, on our social media channels. Um, that's another conversation again for another day. I want to see if I didn't keep uh, the power only unit. But what a power only unit is, is just having the, the truck itself. Just having the truck itself. That's, that's another type of uh, hauler. Just having the truck, truck itself. A lot of times we'll run into a shipper or a distributor and say, hey, you know, we only we need power only. What that means, for instance, <clears throat> let's just say we have Home Depot and Home Depot has their own uh, their own trailers and they may need uh, someone to come pick the trailer up from Home Depot, Atlanta and take that uh, shipment from Atlanta to Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, so basically all they want is the truck. The engine itself that's the power uh that's called power only so if you hear if a, if a guy asks you if a carrier not a guy but a lady or a guy asks you if uh you do power only yes we do power only um it's just a matter of us not having to have a trailer on the back it's just a matter of having to have the truck itself and going to go get that load take it where it needs to be 
Um, so that's all I have on uh, trucks and freight freight types or f trailer types. So uh, if you have any questions, please shoot me an email and um, I'll try to get that question answered for you. Again, I don't promise to be the smartest person on the planet, but if I can't get that information, if I can't get it, I can find it and we can make it happen. If uh, that information is warranted for the entire group to, to have access to it, we'll create a video and we'll make that happen or we'll discuss it in our uh, monthly meeting. Again, remember our next monthly meeting is gonna be the third Saturday of this month 10 o'clock to 10 45 a.m. I forgot the exact date, but please check your times. We'll get that out in the email as well. But at 10 o'clock to 10 45, it shouldn't take but 45 minutes because we're covering a lot of information as we put these videos out. Uh, thanks, and I look forward to seeing you guys or talking to you guys again shortly.